super late today. Let's uh kick this piece. Good day. How am I today? I'm good. It's uh it's a beautiful day, you know. Nice stream last Epoch or not into it. You know, uh, a little bit of both. I'm, I'm like not crazy into it because I, I do feel when I play it, I feel like, oh, it's like playing a slightly different version of PoE, which is fine, but not like, I don't think it's revolutionary to me yet. However, I mean, I haven't done a full everything, you know, of it. It's late llama on time for cooking children. We're not cooking the children, but. NBA All-Star Games seems to not be back to basketball, so the streaming time works well. Yeah, still a joke, right? What it? What's the? What's the? The score? Is it over yet? You're old too. Also, like mostly just one class restaurant. Would I enjoy as much? Yeah, it just like seemed. Uh, I don't know. Like it's a fine game, and again, if you like modern RPGs, I think it should be totally fine and enjoyable. I'm happy, you know, I like the devs, I think what they're trying to do is great, all that. But, I don't know if I'm, like, sold on it. How's my duel with Cooley? Terrible. I played really poorly. He played well. I played really poorly. Um, I need to do more. Hey, spicy butthole. How did the chili thing go? Did you destroy? Yeah. So the, the hardest thing with the chili, I would say, was, or the habanero pepper, was it wasn't just the day after, it was like two or three days after as well. It was hot for a long time. You know? How much do we need to raise in order to get a no telly hell sorceress? Um, um, oh, uh, no telly. Do I get telly staff? It is an honor to serve. No telly, no telly staff. Oh, without teleport staff, it's way harder, way worse. Gonna say, if we had teleport staff, uh, hey, maybe we're talking, you know. Um, hmm. Like, getting through hell is just so hard. 41 34 in the first corner with three minutes left, jeez. So, yeah, not back to basketball at all. Do you think we're going to end with a 200 point game? Like 200 to 192 or something like that? I agree, Wack. Homemade chicken curry? Mm. They've had 200 plus point games before. In the All Star game, they've had over. Really? I feel like they, I always see them, they're like, you know, like 168, 175, 155, whatever. I don't know, we've had 200. If I win the lottery, I'll pay for a no teleport and chance source to hell. Perfect. There we go. Why did you move to D2R? Because they did a great job with it, honestly. Plain and simple. 
They knocked it out of the park. Um, well, let's see. So... Here's our, here is our charity of the week. We only have a couple more days left. Thank you, Drew Peanuts. This is the Cook Children's you can see. This is the Cook Children's you can feel. Alive with the magic of connection. Helping mm -hmm. children grow up healthier by connecting them to care in more ways than ever before. Seeing the world through their eyes and making it a little brighter. At Cook Children's, we are creating life-changing yep. connections every day. Turns out, you can feel them and see them, if you know where to look. Cute. Again, this is not an ad. As much as addy as it feels, it's not. This is just something we do once a year. Exclamation mark, Cook Children. We are trying to raise... Uh, five thousand eight hundred and fifty-one dollars, so we can be one dollar more than the girl in first currently. Hey, first way, so that way we can say, "Ha, we beat you again for the third year in a row." Additionally, we can raise lots of money to help children in need, which is great. You know, that's that's the more important part, I think. But both parts are equally important. So exclamation mark cook ex, uh, exclamation mark cook children in the YouTube chat. It is also just there um, as a link. You can just find it. All the money will go through to cook children to help the children in need. It is used locally as well, so it is used uh, here in America, and even more specifically here in Dallas. Um, yeah, for a really good cause. If you can, I do urge you to support there, as uh, sometimes it's nice to give to the less fortunate. And normally I'm the less fortunate. Oh, that's fine, Alk. You've, Alk, you've already given so much. Normally I'm that less fortunate person, but there are those less fortunate than me, plenty. And children in need, I think, are a pretty good, pretty good case. So, definitely a uh, llama recommendation. Additionally, There are incentives, exclamation mark incentives, for uh, things I'll do for each of the break point places, whatever things that we get. So, I've already had to jump into my cold pool. I had to eat a habanero pepper. Um, I'll have, I have an onion bite I gotta do there. We're doing wax strips every 250. We have a wax strip to the chest. Wow, we actually got dual Saigons. I like it. Um, we have an Arctic Blast Druid through Nightmare at 4,000. A Mr. T haircut at 5,000. I'll take the Arctic Blast Druid through Hell at 6,000. If we get to 7,000, I'll do a Hot Ones challenge. So... Uh, do, you know, all the ten sauces and the wings and all that stuff. Man, I kind of want to just, like, keep Jinthers and... I mean, the, the multi-Saigons is great for the IAS, but, like, hey, this might actually not be a terrible combo here. So a lot of uh, a lot of fun incentives, and I'm open to discussing other things as well. If chat wishes other things, 
All right, Hom Watcher, deal. I will, uh, I will make that deal with you. Do you still accidentally socket items in the stash? Not often, but it does happen. Let's not pretend like it doesn't. Yeah, if there is a specific deal you are looking for with it, I will I will make deals. If we will to, you know, raise more money for Mr. the kids. Mr. Llama SC gifted a tier one sub to skill underscore not underscore luck. And I don't, I don't get anything out of this. I want to like really make that clear. One, I, I've never done a charity stream where I got like paid for it or anything of that nature. There's many that offer, but that's nothing Mr. that I want to get into. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't like it. Um, Mr. Llama SC gifted a tier one so. sub to Fark underscore Roy. I just, I want to make that clear. This is just, we're just Mr. doing Llama it SC gifted to do a tier it. One sub to SH Protus because again, 88. there are people less fortunate and especially having a child. Ugh. Mr. Llama SC gifted a tier one sub to I Gouch. Sorry, let me just gift these subs. So yeah, again, if there's uh, something in your in your mind that you're like, I want. Mr. Llama SC gifted a tier one I sub would to Hong Three Watcher. I would donate. I would donate. You know, if X Y Z, we can talk. We can talk. We can we can negotiate. Craig Graham with the hundo, bringing us to 32.56, which does bring us to the next wax strip. So I do need to get waxed by Moo Girl. You never really liked Arctic Blast? You know, like, I'm not going to sit here and say Arctic Blast is, uh, amazing. By any means. But I will say. It was, I, I was actually surprised I was able to take it beyond, like, the cold plains, you know. Thank you very much, Craig Graham. The $100 donation to start us off today. And, uh... Remember, to everybody, it is not a competition. It is uh, any and every bit counts. If you have $5 to give, but not 100 that's totally fine. Don't, don't feel like you have to give big or none or anything of that nature. Mosaic is hard to do in solo. It's just two times rune words there. Two gall runes, and you can put it in any claw. Honestly, it's good enough. Ladder reset is the 22nd. Can't support outside of your country. Totally fair. And again, the same thing. Don't don't feel like if you can't support, that's anything worse. My number one rule in life is always make sure put your own oxygen mask on before assisting others. That is always the number one rule. There are many people who are so eager to help others. They're so kind and caring. But they do not first just assist themselves. And you can end up doing more good overall in the long run if you take care of yourself first. I wouldn't support you if I could. That's also totally fair. You don't have to. 
There is no requirement. My content is free. It comes off uh, the generosity of thousands. But honestly, you're already supporting me just by being here hanging out. So, sorry. You've already broken your rule. Tom Watcher with the 20 doll hairs. Let's cook those children. No. Let's cook the llama. Nope. So the children can eat. Nope. No llamas or children are being cooked. It's cook children's hospital medical systems here. Again, just to be just to be clear. Ideally, my taste buds are getting cooked. You know what? My taste buds did get cooked already with the habanero. I will say that. And then my tummy got cooked. And then, well, something else got cooked. The onion's probably just going to have to be tomorrow. We'll do the onion bite. Uh, as a send-off celebration piece. Just watch that video, classic. It was, it was rough. Mr. Lama isn't doing the cooking, it's the hospital that's doing Nobody's... Don't know how many times we have to have this discussion. Blair Suave with the 25! Mwah! Thank you so much! You guys, generosity is uh, amazing. Mr. Rune? Yeah, it was an Eth Rune. Oh gosh, it's the If an Indian guy asks, are you sure? When you order something, you say, you know what, never mind, I've changed my mind. I am not sure. Jesus, Dragon Ball. What's the next incentive? Exclamation mark. Uh, I guess you can't see that. Let me... Here's the incentive sheet for YouTube. So, wax strip at 3500 A wax strip of my chest at 3750 And then at $4,000 is the next big incentive. We have uh, Arctic Blast Druid will go all the way through Nightmare. He's done okay so far in Act 1 and 2. How much further can he go? North Indian food isn't super spicy. Yeah, but they still probably know spicy food, you know? Can you ask me a personal question? Always. That's like basically what my stream is, is people ask me a personal question. Okay, salt on eggs isn't too spicy for me. The pepper is the spicy part. Did you knowingly use the law of attraction? What is the law of attraction and how am I using it? It's locked. Please don't stream and upload the waxing. You will get to see. Take a big boy bite out of that pepper. Hey, people paid good money for that. 
going to India ruined food for you? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it's just so much better. Is Texas a good state to live? You know, it has its pros and its cons. I'll definitely say there are there are cons to the state, but it's not all that it, you know, looks and appears in the media either. My biggest cons, without getting political, are, uh, there's no mountains anywhere. I love skiing and everything like that, but you are, like, far away from all of that. The law of attraction is loving what you do so much that you want to even get up earlier just to get up for it, and it vibrates you to that frequency. Um, you know, I would say yes, and potentially no to using it. I don't ever really get up early, but I will definitely say, uh, but I do vibrate. But I, I will definitely say, like, I'm, you know, I try to be uh, intentional with my life if I can. And one piece about that is definitely trying to, you know, see what I want in my life, go after what I want, do it, and try and make it possible. Now, that being said, there's been many times I've failed at that, you know? And not everything that you always imagine is always as it seems. For instance, streaming has its downsides as well, right? A lot of people think it's just kind of upside and just playing games and whatever. But it's got plenty of downsides too, you know? But... But I, you know, I love doing it. I love getting to talk with you guys. I love getting to just like hang out, play Diablo 2, make cool content for Diablo 2, explore, test new things, um, improve people's days, right? A lot of people say, hey, you've made my day better. That's like, I love that. And uh, just getting to... Declan, good to see you. Just getting to do this. Getting to raise money for cool causes. Getting to go meet with developers. There's lots of lots of cool pluses. What if any have you picked up for your shapeshift run? I found Saigon's armor and Saigon's gloves, which gives me 30 IAS. So I kinda like that. I do need some source of cannot be frozen, or you might just have to make one, or just run rhyme and something. Okay, you wanna, you ready to, okay, well don't just, hold on. Don't just. Yeah. There she go. Go. Weapon stuff still. <sighs> All right. This is uh, exclamation mark cook children. Our thirty-two fifty goal. We have more hair to wax. Bow tie neo eight. Wow. One of the oldest followers of this channel that exists. Probably the oldest one that actually comes back every now and then. Wow. I think he followed me on my like second or third third day of streaming. Aww. Yeah. He's seen Thanks, Holbert. Ew, what is this? 
He's seen your life transform over the years. True. You were Moo's first subscriber on Twitch? Aww. Ah! God, he didn't even get it off! <laughs> my eye! What do you mean, your eye? You ripped. <laughs> Something got in my eye. Oh. Oh my god. Is your eye okay? There's something in the eye? Did you get whacked in your eye? <laughs> oh, you've terribly done this. <laughs> what have you done, Moo? Well, it got disrupted by something flying in my eyeball. God, it's horrible! There's just like straggler hairs! <laughs> It's the worst one you've done yet. <laughs> no. no, don't go for that. Ow, that like hurts. I think I got hit by a puck there or something. It's bruised. Aww. Oh, going now? Wherever there's wax has got to come off. Ow! Oh, wow. That was a big one. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> okay, get the... No, leave them. Get em. the two leave hairs. Em. Leave them. No, leave them. Get those like out. Them. They're weird. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> like, they're just two little pieces of hair right oh here. Oh my Can god. Can we zoom in on no. that? No. Give them names. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, said. You enjoy this too much. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> From two and a half hours experience all the way to waxing, how far we've come. Yep. Waxing, having a baby, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, he had a baby. He had a baby. I had a baby. He did it. I did all that. That laugh was evil? Yeah, she got that evil laugh. <laughs> and eating habanero peppers. Thank you, Moo Girl. I did. She's 10 to 11 months now. Yeah. The first one, because we've been around a bit and didn't know you had a baby. Mm-hmm. Why not a ghost pepper? Cause the habanero was hot enough, man. I don't, I don't need, I don't need to go hotter. <laughs> wow, Alk. How do you know I'm not already donating? I have an alternate account that I donate under. I swear to God. <laughs> Before chat, you know, I existed. I was donating under a different account. Oh my god. But you knew it right away. Yeah. Because I wanted that mustache shape. Yep, you were. Calm down. How long until that? We're good at many things. Tolerating pain doesn't seem to be one of them. Probably true. Very Possibly true. Pretty much, Emily. Terrible idea. Thanks, naughty old man. <laughs> My girl wants monthly charity streams now. She does. She's like, let's pay this off and then let's do monthly charity streams. Didn't I meet Moo Girl with a charity haircut? I did. I had done a charity stream and uh, shaved my head completely down. And that was the first date I had with Moo Girl. And she was like, oh, you don't look anything like your pictures. But thankfully, that's very common, so. Am I going to epilate it? What is epilate? Wax? We are we are doing a wax strip every 250. Every 250 there we are at 3276, so in 224 
more. We will do another waxing. Thank you for convincing me to not play Summon Droid. This is Players 8, to be fair. I'm just, like, leveling up. I'll, I can go down to Players 1. It's actually not bad. I'm not going to sit here and say it is the greatest thing ever. But, like, it's aight. You know. Do we open Socket Mall? I'm trying to think if there's, like, a... Specific mall. How much for wax strip over nipple? If if you donate, oh Jesus. Um, two fifty. We'll do a regular strip. And then a special strip. 250, let, let it be clear. Okay, there's added cold damage. There's no eyebrow. Pain is surprisingly cheap. Hey man, I'm here to raise money for kids. We're not waxing the face. <laughs> I'm wrong. Five hundred by energy is one. Eye We're not doing any eyebrows. Get out of here with that. God, no eyebrows are getting waxed. Right, we'll drop that. I'm gonna just put this here temporarily. Stay a while and listen. You have plenty of things. Mama always has a price. Yeah, but I feel like eyebrows are just way higher. Like, that's. $500 is like not even remotely close to eyebrows. You know. Gotta look surprised for three to four months. A thousand dollars, half to you, half to the kids. I, I still think it's too low for having to walk around without an eyebrow on. Where do I go? To go see your sister? And her family, my parents. General, just going around. The Cuckoo Shikaku. How fun. You said two fifty first. Make the mobs or mod have that one hit capability. Which one? Do act one mercenary with the cuckoo. Eh, we probably could. Wait, I have an act two mercenary at that. Sure. Who's too loud? Who's too loud? You said 250 smile. What? Oh, sorry. How many people does a child usually serve? Oh, you're, you're not cooking. Go 
garbage. Double dare live chat vote recommendation list. What? What does that even mean? Need to soundproof the room better? Probably. Probably. Greetings. Hello again. Alright, let's try uh I'll put that to good use. I'll put that to good use. There you go, enjoy your cuckoo. Shikoku. Sound deafening blankets during code for your walls. Nice. Okay. This is my crescent moon. Our description trade if I have low health. I mean. Spirit is, you know, really nice. And if you're not using spirit, then you're probably using like storm shield or something like that. So, regardless, you're probably investing in the the 156 strength anyways overall. But a lot of times you're gonna take that from uh, you know, like Enigma and stuff, right? Nice. Maybe I should get some sound deafening blankets. <laughs> yeah, keeping that can be good. It's it it can it can be tough, but honestly, Assassin's pretty survivable still. Overall, like she just she ends up doing pretty well. Kook on the Akmers, Ax on Merce kind of slaps. It ain't shabby. Why I didn't go with Poison Creeper? Poison Creeper's not great outside of normal. So. Bladeson is nice, yeah. They actually made Bladeson kind of fun, for sure. Uh, okay, let's go down here. Like how the Oak Sage aura is kind of stretchy. Yeah, it's fun actually. Extension to cook for children might have been a better tag. Well, we're not cooking for children. The tag choices were cook children or cook children's. Your choice. It is all a part of the Miracle Network raising money for kids in need. It's a lovely organization and uh, honestly a really great cause. 
We have another uh, incentive of another waxing coming up in two hundred twenty-four dollars. At four thousand is a nightmare druid uh, Arctic blast run. So taking Arctic Blast all the way through Nightmare. At 5,000, I get a Mr. T haircut. 6,000, I take that Arctic Blast through Hell. 7,000, we do Hot Ones Challenge. Our main goal, though, is 5,851 doll hairs. That is the main goal, because that puts us in first. She did approve. We're only doing the hair, Emily. My mercenary is using the Kuko Shikaku that we found. Which is really nice, because it's, you know, three to bow and crossbow skills, three relation, exploding arrows. I disagree, the main goal is 7,000. I, I care less about getting to the 7,000 goal. I don't think that's really one anybody here is too, you know, into. But we definitely want to make sure we hit 58, 51, and then, you know, maybe stop right around there. Obviously, though, the more that does go to the children, the better. So. The reverse, Mr. T. I mean, look, if you guys want to change things up, we can always talk and adjust things. But. They fixed the Marowax bug. First Jaru never, let's go! Great feeling. Ooh, nice level two. We're gonna pound Mephisto right here, by the way. This is gonna be a murder. That's right, we owe. 20 now from Adam. Thank you so much, Adam. Good reminder. There's actually for 15. So we owe 25. Appreciate it. Nice. I mean, we found our weapon. Another ten dollars in children's box. If you can remember for me, smile. We found our weapon, you guys. Beauty. Crush and blow. Deadly strike. Open wounds. Added damage. Shape shifting skills. Shale that puppy up and uh, call it a day. What a dream. All right, let me donate $25. And sure, add a message for Adam. Please verify your card number. What do you need? 
Perfect. All right, 25 from Adam has entered the pot. GG. Which brings us up to 3301 and Siverbs go bye bye. Greetings. Let's go ahead. At 1 million subs, you should have to shave your eyebrows. If we get to 1 million subs, I will shave my eyebrows. How does that sound? Deal? I will be so surprised. YouTube or Twitch, either one. <laughs> you have found my price. Do I believe in the streamer award? Not really. I mean, Night Owl, thank you. Like, it, it they do exist. You know that it's the thing that was made up by QT and her friends to give themselves awards. Let's cook those kids. But like, Lol Tyler is the winner of the chess streamer of the year. He streamed like 70 hours of chess the whole year and is a league streamer, you know? I mean, they're just a joke popularity contest, right? As in, as our most award shows have of that sort, so. But they get to go and just, you know, have fun and give themselves awards for being successful, so. How much damage is a bear so just have you can have a lot of damage do i play with the group at ladder start yes i'll be playing with kano jim teo Coogs, lucky etc he didn't even stream chess he just did it on like one other little channel for a month yeah I've never heard of so many of these big streamers. There's there's a decent amount of them, you know. There's like a, a couple hundred, a few hundred between YouTube and Twitch. And they all have all their drama and they all have all their whatever. So many T1 haters. I'm not a T1 hater. I'm just, I mean, I don't really enjoy his content, but whatever for people that like, you know, angry man smashing table content. Um, but I'm just saying chess streamer of the year. There's a lot of very good chess streamers that would actually deserve it if that was a real award show. That's all I'm saying. That's Law Tyler one. 
be part of Tyler. Right? Where we can find Haas, Nightmare Mephisto, Hell and Dario. Update speed rank guide playlist. Just because presenters increase explanations as series were made. Updated speedrunning guide playlist. Oh, like changing the uh, how to speedrun videos, you're saying? Level one enchant. It's just like so weak, it's not even worth using it. Do I have the guru from wearing headphones? I don't know if I do. Can I beat Anna Cramling in a 10 minute game? The last game I played with Anna Cramling, it was, I think, a five minute blitz. Uh, maybe a three minute blitz. And I did beat her, yes. And then she said, I'm not playing you again! And we haven't played again since then. Because she lost 15 elo. For the loss. You feel like I win 1 and 2 to 2 every 10 against Anna? Yeah, that's probably about right. Kind of depends, you know, the different people. Nah, she's a... She's a strong uh, WFM. Anna Kramling's not an IM. But but she's she's definitely like a, a, a strong one. She plays pretty well. Lemrune, let's go, baby! Wow, the dream rune. I mean, Umrune would have also been godly, but treachery is here. So now forget Saigon. Anna Musichuk is, is a GM, and I did beat her one time. But, you know, she was like talking to chat and having fun and whatever, so she I don't think she was focusing hard playing fully. But I'll still take it, man. Any win like that. You know. Yeah, I don't have a FIDE rating. I've, I've, I've never done, like, real chess. I just mess around on chess.com here and there. Okay, there's that. So I guess Saigon's is bye-bye then. Uh, from from that regard, at least. And I'm actually really bad over the board. Because all I've done is online chess. And it's amazing, but over the board is so different. Like, I, how you visualize it. My chess com is Alex Sem. I've been playing more Lee Chess actually lately though. I've been messing around over there more. Just cause chess.com was getting too annoying with like, buy premium, buy premium. What happened to the Holy Shot Cow Run? We finished it. They gotta pay their bills somehow. Sure, I mean, they do uh, have to pay their bills and they do, you know, run big contests and stuff, so, you know. But it just was getting too much and I hated that they gated, like, puzzles behind it. That was honestly the biggest thing. I hated that puzzles were gated behind premium accounts. 
so you, you get like one or like three free puzzles a day. And that's it. And that was super annoying to me. Have I ever beaten Elizabeth Pates? I have not beaten Elizabeth. Like I said, I beat Anna Crambling one time. She was messing around, but I still won. I still enjoyed it. Pates is a GM now. She got her GM last year. So she's the latest female to get Grandmaster, I believe. I have not played Go. I watched, like, when they had, you know, the Go, Alpha Go whole thing, but... No! Oh, I'm sorry, Toadette. Toadette, you need to actually tell me where you play. Because I have Live Barn. I just realized if you play at any of the Live Barn arenas, I could watch your games. Holy shock's not uploaded. So it's all in the live video, but I was thinking, yeah, maybe I'll go back to uploading the, the videos again. I don't know. When am I the next GM? Do I have the talent for that? I mean, most people would say no. At this age, it's really, really hard to become GM. And I probably, almost guaranteed, will never become a chess grandmaster. Because the time that I would need to dedicate to it would be, you know, just too difficult, essentially, having a child and all this now. But! I think my mind works in a way where I could potentially tackle it and get to that. I'm a big believer in myself though, you know? Age is a big factor in chess. Those young kids are always just, just crush it. Well, the thing is, the live content gets uploaded anyways, just under the live section. But it's all like, you can go back and watch it. So that's where I've just been having it, but... But yeah, I can I can uh, pick it out and how about Tetris? I don't think I have enough interest in Tetris. I think it's a great you know it's a fun game. But Clint Beastwood member for two months with the re sub re membership on YouTube. Thank you so much. Appreciate that a lot. Ooh, okay. Best amulet I've ever crafted. You know, I don't think I have an amulet that's so good I've crafted that it's even worth, like... Ooh, the best amulet. I've crafted some okay things, but honestly, I'm very disappointed in, uh crafts all together. It's so hard to craft, like, good amulets. It's insane. Beautiful. 
I'm just jamming skill points into summon Grizzly right now. Paladin. Nice. Yeah, I don't think I've crafted a 220 in years. You can craft a Dream Ammy, but it's just so unlikely. I mean, I'm already level 52. So we'll be 53. Interesting. From Ancients, 54. We'll probably end around like 56, 57. And that's pretty close to uh, what we'll need going forward there. Okay, so Earthshaker is very interesting. But not good enough. Uh, yes. You'll just want to reset your maps, Necro, until you get a map where it's just an immediate turn. I think I'll play on the 21st. We'll do some Last Epoch, maybe. Ladder resets 22nd. Yeah, so that's the thing is ladder resets right around the corner, so I'll be doing that the 22nd. So. Yes. The idea of immunity breaking is not that it breaks the immunity and that's it. The idea is it breaks the immunity so then your other minus res pieces can affect it in a way where you can do more. So you have facets or you have, you know, doom or you have crescent moon or you have uh, infinity, whatever it is. Griffins, yeah. So that is the idea. Just it by itself being broken from a center charm really is not enough. Quick question, what seasoning is being... The children are not being cooked. It is cook children's medical, cook children's health care, cook children's... Ooh, Bone Snap is fun. I mean, you can definitely have Bone Snap do like a Whirlwind Bone Snap fun time with that. And just for making the Cook Children's joke, you gotta put a dollar in the Cook Children's jar. That's, that's how it goes. If you want to make the joke, you put a dollar there in the jar. Exclamation mark, cook children. To, uh, to put your donations in. On source, does the cold penetration skill even work? Yes! Quite nice, actually. 
Come on. I don't love these blunder boards. I might reset and just go after them slaves. Let's do it. Rainbow is a different build every difficulty. Bedtime. Good night. Amp damage charges the ones don't exist. The charges do exist, actually. Ken Baker with the one dollar for the keeps. Thank you very much for your one dollar in the jar. Yes, Gavel of Pain gives you three charges. Make a joke, you pay the price. Just push forward. Has anybody ever used Gavel Paint with its charges? Uh huh. For a Trav Barb, it's actually not terrible. Mustache looking good? Thank you. Ghost Armor! Wow! Well, we did find our cannot be frozen, but... Ah. Oh, sorry. But we also got a Lem Rune. And I just don't think there's anything better to really make with our Lem Rune. Uh, 87 plus turns on? No, they can. They'll be able to drop everything. She's gonna wax me out of spite? Probably. Did you see you in heck? How were they? Which did you like better? How'd they go? Yeah, we are dropping it like it's hot on this run so far. 
Actually, that's alright. Fearwolf's not worth summoning. I just don't have enough points really in them. We can we can summon them, but we'll probably just die really fast. Yeah, I mean treachery is better than everything. For for that. It's just so good. Late night llama. I thought I could sleep or we could get on, play some druid, and raise some money for exclamation mark cook children. Already done one wax in today. Nice, Bailey. Zerla, do you know the rules? You make a joke about cooking children. You pay up. Exclamation mark cook children. Go donate a dollar to the cook's jar. What up, Long Miss? How you doing? When to Armageddon? What am I using? Oh man, three to Raven though, I guess. Mm. I can't. Never sub, never donate neighbor's Wi-Fi. Classic. It is 9 p.m. in Texas. Do you have competitive enough time to submit to DDQ? Yeah, sure. I mean, the thing is, I would just go, like, practice the run I was gonna, you know, submit. I'd be fine. The other thing is, GDQ runs aren't about always having the world record time or being right on it. They're about uh, just like the fanfare of it, the fun, the explaining, and also being decently good enough at the run where you can show off tricks and all that. So yeah, they're about entertainment value more so than being the fastest runner. No, I've got competitive enough times. So I can still compete. GDQ is too much about cheating? What? Did I use my YouTube voice in GDQ? It's the same voice, so... Remember that. Exploits? Well, that's what speedrunning is all about. Speedrunning is all about getting those exploits going. There are glitches categories. And I mean, that's like something I like about Diablo 2 is Diablo 2 is pretty glitchless for the most part. You can glitch the Ancients a little bit. You can glitch out Bale's waves there. You're really not glitching much, much else. You know.
glitch Mephisto, sure. You can glitch Duriel. Not many, not many runs glitch Duriel, but there are the, some that do. But it's very small amount of the actual run. On LOD or D2R? Oh, on LOD, yeah. He might be the only person still running LOD speedrunning that I know of. I think everybody switched over to D2R now. Just love the old school. I get it. Old school's great. Is there any advanced LOD outside of load times? That's pretty much it. Load times are the... the main deal. Otherwise, you get more stuff. No, you can still swap cast in D2R, but it's just not, like, needed, really. Though it is... I'm trying to think if, like, for Amazon... It might be patched out in some way. I'm trying to think, like, why we don't use it on her anymore. Are D2 runs RTA? No, they have they take load time out of the question. But it's just annoying, because you have to still deal with all the load screens. Indrick did some mod runs, nice. Zorlod with the five dollars! Exclamation mark cook children. Thank you very much, Zorlod. Your joke is accepted. Yeah, people said Indrik came back finally the other day. I know, Alk. It would be so nice. Boo. Thanks, one socket. Good afternoon. What record do I hold, if any? Uh, I have some StarCraft speedrunning records. A couple there. I'm not sure I have any D2R at the moment. I haven't submit for a lot of them. Like, I have a couple second places that I just need to submit. Like, I have a normal druid that's a second place. Dang it. No, turtle. We've, we've done them all. Just beat Andy as she was farming or keep progressing? Normal Andy? Nightmare or hell? Normal Andy? Not really. I mean, you can farm her till you get, like, Blood Fist. You know. Maybe get some Hisaris boots, Hisaris belt, some, like, things like that, but... Nightmare Andy, you can definitely get a little bit more stuff. I still don't know if I'm saying that it's, like... You know, go farm her, farm her. I would say Nightmare Mephisto and Hell and Dario would be the ones I would really think about farming more. Wisecrack, what's up? Yeah, I might be a part of some group world records or something. But. I don't know. I need, I need to honestly play and submit more speedruns. We kind of got back into it, then we dropped out again. I, I, I should put more into it. I think so, Binary. 
somewhere out there. SOJ can be hard. It is not the easiest thing to get. By any means. Five. This is probably fine. Let's let's just go forward. I really enjoy your experience, but I also know it's a grind, and I get one to do other stuff. I think I just get caught up in other pieces, you know. It's like when you're speed running, you want to like really be focused in on speed running, and you're just like running every day and all that but it's it's been tougher just lately to you know because i'm like oh there's a ladder reset oh there's last epoch coming oh there's you know this this run i need to do a sponsored run rainbow druid oh there's this and then i kind of just uh fall out of it a little bit i just gotta like make sure i'm Focusing on doing it a little bit. Did see pretty decent two sort of normal runs, but not top ten. I mean it's it takes a bit to like really get there, you know. Does that have fun? Look at last. Got the 666 so classic. For it. Good afternoon. Plus, the other thing is, like, you know, I do have a lot of focus on, like, LOM RPG right now and stuff as well. So we're really trying to make that work. We're, we're really pushing for the next, like, two weeks. We're going to really try and give a good push. I have a list of stuff that we probably need for the alpha to really be uh, ready-ish. Yeah, that's pretty much how it goes, you and her. So, yeah, so we're, we're really trying. It's like, you know, there's just so many tiny details now that need to be put in so that we can put the alpha out. Now, remember, this is still the alpha. It's going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff that's breaking and a lot of just load testing and making sure combat flows and all that stuff works. So it's not going to be... A perfect amazing time but the hope is okay then we release the next set of it and then we release the next step of it and incrementally go from there as itemization is good it's golden I'm, I'm really focusing on trying to make itemization good I think combat also needs to be good though if combat's not good, I might have Warren switch the game to an ARPG instead. If I can't figure out how to make this turn-based combat good. Good is a good choice? Agreed. Thank you, Starmix, for convincing me of it. I'll say, hey, David Brevik did it in a day. Warren would kill me if I <laughs> said that. Oh. 
When you reach 75 months, and Llama thinks surely, by now, Evo is going to settle down and stop trolling. And yet all we get is fuck up M-L-E-M-M-L-E-M-M-L-E-M-M-L-E-M-M-L-E-M. Oh yeah, the... M-L-E-M. The resub doesn't do it. Let's try. Yep, I can have my own story about the first time I saw the llama move and hit a skeleton. I knew I had a hit. Can't wait to have that story. Warren? Get me that story. So excited for Lumber RPG. Thank you. I mean, it really means a lot. I'm, I'm really trying, you know? Like, again, I've never developed a game before. I don't have, wait, hold on. Uh, that should be down there. I don't have all the knowledge and experience. I don't have, you know, a team of a bunch of paid people that are working and all this. I've got myself. I'm paying Warren for coding. I'm, you know, there's volunteers. I'm gonna try and make sure anybody who does, uh, you know, work on the game in some capacity can at least get some something for their time. But it's really just a, a game of passion right now that we're we're trying to make happen. When's Lama's D2 mod? This, this is kind of is it. The idea was either I make a D2 mod or I make my own game. <laughs> when Activision offers to buy me that decline, yeah. Do I need sound designers? So I have a guy who has made all of the like audio and it's doing some sound stuff but i do wonder if like you know like for the alpha right now some sounds that i need are just like okay when you click a button when gold moves sound that just exists within the town right like the breeze blowing through or the crickets chirping all those sorts of things um and so we're kind of having to figure that stuff out a little bit. Why is Craig? Thank you. I don't know if that should just be, you know, somebody else get there. I don't know. I, that's stuff that, like, kind of will come after the alpha, I feel like, almost for a lot of it. I, I got to focus on other things first. The music is good. Thank you. Yeah, I, I mean, I really love the music. I think the music is fantastic. Why don't I move the map to the corner? I don't like corner map. I like map on top of me. I'm sorry if it's more obstructive for the viewer. It's just, I've, I've always liked it on top. Thank you. 
I've never played Heroes of Might and Magic, so I'm not taking any inspiration from that. But I probably should play some Heroes of Might and Magic to take in some inspiration. Music is pretty well done, I would say. There will be, you know, a little more here and there, but that is, the music is probably one of the most completed things. When's the next Immortal King rap song? Uh, after Llama RPG. I promised Tom I'd play it, did I? I don't know if I said that. How about this, Tom Watcher? If you can convince the chat in the next couple of days to get to 5851, we will uh, play Heroes of Might and Magic 3. That's just adding a new a new goal for him right there. D4. I mean, I played some before. Let's start with Might Magic 2. Yeah, you can see which one. Ow! What did so much damage? I didn't even look. When's Lama RPG coming? Like I said, I am working to get it ASAP, but I also am not a pro at this. I've never released a game before. I don't have all the knowledge of how it all goes. And there's a lot of things that are currently being done that are kind of like beyond what I'm doing, like graphics and stuff like that. I, I'm not doing that. I suck at graphics. I just draw stuff in paint and it's awful. Do Steam Early Access? Well, we're gonna do an alpha first. So. You know, we'll start with an alpha, do a beta, do that. You know, it's, it's gonna be uh, moving as fast as we can, but know that like yeah it's not gonna have everything off the bat can all play yes the alpha would be open to everybody Exclamation mark RPG Discord will take you to the Discord channel um, where all of that, uh, you know, stuff gets discussed. Whenever the alpha is ready, I'll talk about it there, release there, give updates. If you want to get in the demo, be in that Discord or the alpha, etc. A couple spicy things. There's some real nasty stuff. Close to like my work to a single battle unit. Yeah. yeah. Players one for wave two. Which wave sucks the most for summon druid? I don't know, I could see two being annoying. Alright, she's dead. Wave three would have killed her if not two though. Go 
players five for wave four. See how it goes. It's an ARPG set in the world of Llama. It's a turn-based RPG set in the world of Llama. Or an animal kingdom kind of world. Okay, we already did that. Let's go grab here. Summon dude's your favorite class. It's a good one. Battle sweet fell. And what? Just PvP him? I have not had a chance to play much Stormgate, so. Definitely one I need to, like, get my hands on more. Player's five, but it should be worth a lot of experience. get paladin try any tips which one do you like uh what kind of paladin do you want to play very different kinds you know the biggest thing will be once you get to like hell you're gonna want holy shield pretty much no matter what your build is and so you'll want to have enough dexterity while holy shield is on so that you're you know you're at least 50 60 75 percent max or you know block generally you go for 75 percent exactly shea shea what more good do you want? Hey, Lugo. But hammers are always good. Um, I will go players through there. Hammers are always good. Smite is safe and solid. Zeal can be a lot of fun. Vengeance I actually enjoyed, but I wouldn't recommend Vengeance for a first playthrough. Um, let's see what else. I have my wolf pack so small. It's not. This is how. This is how much you can have. Bowden isn't bad, though. So again, not something I'd fully recommend first playthrough always, but it's all right. Fire Arrow Girl in the meta. Pretty good one, yeah. You could have even gotten players 5 with these guys. It's okay. Still good. Almost 58. is really nice. He's a little bit slower. He doesn't have as much to do as 
you know, like a, a, a summon Necro. Summon Necro gets a little bit more to do, but I think it's totally fine. Got ourselves a uh, gore shovel. Good evening. Nice and simple. Sure, good enough. Not bad. And go here, put this away, put that away. Did we do Kane at all? Dude, with one point fury set up with crescent moon. Nice. You would need to build up the attack rating and everything, but I guess if you can get that working. What's the cook children thing? It is a. Uh fundraiser we're doing through tomorrow so after tomorrow it'll be over and we are raising money for uh, Z kids that need health care so it is uh, something we like to do once a year because we're people who like to help out the less fortunate So you can go to that link. How do I reach these keys? All-Star game is awful once again. Did you really expect anything less? Gosh, is that uh, interesting. All-Star game has been awful for years. And just getting worse and worse. Alright, you step up and launch a three. Okay, you walk down the court and launch a three. Everybody just kind of walks back and forth and shoots a three ball. And then it's over. <laughs> The East wins 212 to 204. <laughs> Yay. You can get life tap charges, yeah. Where's the tree at? Up in there. Or somehow down left. than the Pro Bowl? No way. Pro Bowl with flag football now? They actually kind of care and have fun a little bit more. Pro Bowl has uh, definitely stepped up from what it used to be. It's not great. I'm not going to sit here and be like, Pro Bowl's godly. But it, it's better than whatever the All-Star game is trying to pretend it is. Thank you. 
Very late night. Alright, let's try this. This is a summoner, yeah. I'm trying to go open cows up. There's the stones. Brawny is, uh, you know, decent, but unfortunately not fully uh, NBA material. Will he still probably get drafted high because somebody wants to take the chance that LeBron will want to go be with this kid? Potentially. She's gonna die soon. I just wanna. I just wanna spawn some stuff really fast. We need a shale rune, I think. And uh, I probably have a thaw rune, but maybe not. I might have enough orts though. We can see soon. We'll see. I mean, the other question is, does he even want to go and be an NBA player and all that? Or is he going to want to do his own thing? Ah, uh, reverse, Al. Flip it and reverse it. Murder crows? Basically. Crows are so good. That seems like enough. It's that easy. So easy a monkey could do it. Get him. I wish I had corpse explosion so badly. Oh boy, maybe this is a bad idea. Maybe I should just go do cows instead. Holy Freeze is just too much, one of the two. Dang, man. Necro, you're starting to, or Druid is starting to fall off.
Dang, nice paladin. Probably time to let it go. Okay. Let's go. Good day. We have a good tower. Let's see what all we need. I have a shale, actually. Wow. Do I have everything? I do. Shale Thol Lem. When did that all happen? All right. So treachery it is. Um, I guess I also want rhyme, so I need another shale. Or an Io. Did I find Io on this run? I found dull. Um... Um, too many Tyrants, too many Elrons. Tinthers can go. Hmm. Good to see you. Ninety-nine to life. That's nice. Twenty IS on the gloves. One twenty-seven, one sixty-two, one hundred eight. Ooh. So I need some res. I've got three. What? Taurins? Yeah, but I don't want to get rid there. I have enough Ithrunes, I guess, so we could go like this and then do a couple Tals. Um, Amethyst. Alright, 14. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Boots and gloves and helm. Uh, do I want to make a lore? I probably just want three sockets in a helm. Flesh render will go there. And I guess that's not quite yet. Because we are going to need to go get one more shale. I believe. One more shale or Io, I suppose. Jalal's would be best in slot, yes. Charity, yeah. What else would you expect from that? Clearly charity.
Let's see what we get. I am. Wow. Okay. So we still actually need shale, though. Because we need shale Iothol. And I have enough ort runes. Or am I one short? One short. So I would need another Thol or the or that there. We're up to $3,332 raised for the kids. Expansion mark cook children. If we get to 3,500, we will do another waxing. Raising money for children in need of health care. And it'll be halfway to her goal of 7,000. 5851 is the, the main goal. The pepper was rough. It was, it was really rough. Sorry, I'm like yelling. The pepper makes me yell. Thinking about it. I know, Adam. A jar of olives again. Hey, man, we can we can figure something out. We can figure something out. Not doing the gallon of milk challenge though that one might be a bit much I may try it out on the on its launch there Chris here is the incentive list oh it's already over there nice I didn't realize I put it there peppered milk wrong with you guys. Ten cans of corn in 15 minutes. Is that supposed to be a, like a, a real challenge? Or just having to suffer through eating ten cans of corn? I hate peeps. Peeps are so gross. That would be awful. Plus, the amount of sugar there would probably kill me. Alright, we got a Thol rune. So, I still need a shale. And I mean, I'd actually... Mm. Let's see. Yeah, Hearth still probably ends up better. I was going to say I could make Rhyme, but then I lose 23% all res. But then I could do Ralort Thol in a Helm, and I gain 30. If I do Hearth, I keep the 48, but I get all the extra Cold Res. Cold Res is our best res, though. It's already pretty good because of some rings like that. Mm. But we could then craft like a coral ring or something. What do I need for a coral ring? Perfect topaz, a magic ring, llama game still being made. What is the, the third thing? 
Is it a rejuve? That sounds potentially accurate. Just go for that then. I don't have a topaz, great. All right, but we could at least go for a fire. What do, what do I need a place with a ruby? Maybe I just go here for the attack rating instead. Mm. That has light res on it. Okay. So the last thing we need is a three open socket helm. Exploding potion, yeah. I thought that was that one. Uh, uh. So let's... Yeah, we're gonna make Hearth and get the canopy frozen, I think. Again, we could do Rhyme. Maybe Rhyme is the better way. We make Rhyme. Either way, we need a 3 open socket helm. And then in said 3 open socket helm, we put... like Rao or Ort, and then we're not wasting it on the cold res. Bulwark is also not a terrible idea, but... Because Bulwark is a great helm. It has some lifesteal, some max life, replenish, damage reduce, and physical damage reduce. But my resistances are going to be in a bad spot. Like a really bad spot, which would be the issue. Alright, so we're looking for a crown, we're looking for a mask, we're looking for any white druid helm. Off road turkey with the 199, thank you very much. I will have Fade. Ooh. Yeah, I just remembered I will have Fade. So actually my resistances might be totally fine, and then we could go Bulwark. Maybe we go Bulwark and Rhyme then. And then we'll have a ton. Like a, a ton, ton, ton of physical damage reduction with the mix of that. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Good call. I'm not even trying to level up here, it's just happening, it's nice. Dope your lip. Been watching your VODs all day. Thank you. Okay, Ancient Sway, Icy Cellar. 184, 187, 193. Okay, so our resistances are maxed currently. So we will lose a tiny bit. Make it I can figure it out. Whole tub of cheese balls in ten minutes. 
Jesus. Yeah, I'm gonna do an eight man run. The NATO. Hakam, there we go. Okay. Nothing on it, but it'll get three open sockets. Get the entire feeling of box of cheese that's under. Okay, you sound like Moo Girl now. You eat one full size box of Cheez Its, and suddenly that's all you're known for in the family. One family size. Sheesh. Everybody does it. Very normal amount. You build a thousand ships. Afternoon. Exactly. Okay. So let's do Bulwark. Will be Shale Io Soul. Soul, Shale, King Feel with the 499. We got 11% damage reduction. Rip. 5% life steal. Okay. You go there, you go there. Oh, wait, I need Rhyme. So I need another Shale Rune. Alright, back. Back to the Black Marsh we go. Whoopsies. Sound, sound plaza. Alright, you, you got your sound. One more shale, I forgot. That's, uh, that's my bad. There's an ad in the game trying to trick him into saying something similar. Does he know what the words are? Good morning, Charski. Hmm, interesting. Room. Now I wish I did it the other way, just because I have to spend the time doing this. I like the idea of crafting, like, you know? Fun idea. are not Amazon cast frames. Am I still working on 1080? No, I've got a 3070. I gave Moo Girl the 1080. I gave her the whole computer. stream.
Uh, I don't know if anybody has. I feel like Bender or something probably knows. Who's excited about NVIDIA earnings? What are you hoping or expecting to see? Came from Icy Stream? Nice to have you in here. Wheel chat or guardian? Get out of here. You better fix guardian if you want me to not be able to say it. Who would choose? Would I choose shapeshifting in hell if this arc or No, I chose shapeshifting in hell because this is the third time I've done this, so I've already done the other combinations. So I have to do shapeshifting in hell basically now. Is that some kind of merch? That is some 3D printed runes that were sent to me. Hi. Find your brilliant revenue with guidance from 10 to 30 percent revenue growth by third quarter. Sheesh. 10 to 30 percent revenue growth? That's what you're wanting? Yeah, shapeshifting's viable. It's gonna have its, uh, you know, tough parts. My biggest issue is I don't have anything to really boost my attack rating, and I don't have ignore target defense. No, I don't believe it does. So, that's going to be the hardest part. Hitting. could switch to a Blessed Amers, but he's probably going to die. Yeah, getting Saigon's Helm would be nice, but taking the time to farm Saigon's Helm is not nice. Greetings. Not the best map, honestly. Yeah, I'll be doing ladder reset. So I guess I'm looking forward to that. I need Ravenfrost? I mean, Ravenfrost is godly. Trying hardcore. I wanted to do hardcore, but my ladder group said no. They want it. Gymnasium wants to do softcore. So, at least for the initial run, I'll be softcore, but I might actually switch over and do some online hardcore. Mess around with it there. One more shell rune. Come on. So yeah, maybe we'll do like a, we'll start a hardcore run after a few hours of the softcore, or the next day I might go and do a hardcore run or something online and then we can level up with some chat people.
Shower in. There we go. Okay. Let's go get Ryan. And we are good to go. Welcome. What's my ringtone sound? I just always have it on vibrate. Who leaves their phone on ringtones besides old boomers? Approach and let's trade. A no rune word season? I mean, I think it'd be interesting. Good day. Allow me to advise. For making wisdom, should I worry about the base? If you're just playing through and whatever, nah, just make it. If you're, like, trying to make it for later on, yeah. Thoughts on an expansion coming for D4? I don't know. I, I, I've i said before, I'm not sure Diablo 4 is, is a game built for me. Plain and simple. Okay, let's go to heck. Good day. All right, so it is respect time. Shale F. We need 30 strength, 45, 47. All right, we'll just go to 47. 50 it is. We'll run some block a little bit. Um, shape shifting, feral rage, rabies. So we'll go max fury, max werewolf, and max lycanthropy. And then I guess the rest into feral rage. No oak. I can't run oak. It's it's rainbow druid. I have to be in the shapeshift tree. Um, we can dump that. We can sell this. Try and do it. All right, I'll try. Uh, let's see. I do want the cold damage charm. And 31 light res isn't bad. But 14 light res might be better. All right. Let's go 50% block chance and the rest in vitality. So it begins. Nice. Oh, we actually have 5,200 attack rating. Where am I getting all this attack rating from? Just from Fury? Like... Yeah, we knew she was going to die instantly, so that's fine. Ah, oh, Flesh Render's got garbage. It doesn't have any attack rating. This has 16, this has 56, this has 82. Okay, so I did put a little bit in, but still. Yeah, so with Fade, we're almost max res. Everything's at least 60, so. Yeah, I mean, I guess, like, here we get, uh, 380%, but, and then this is 270%. 
Okay, so I guess the combination of that... I should definitely build up my Feral Rage. My duration here. 20 seconds. Yeah. Just that combo is nice. Pretty solid. Oh boy. Don't like that though. Get away from me! Holy Freeze, though, is different from freezing. So, friendly reminder, everybody, if you do have a Twitch Prime sub, you can use those. They do not auto-renew. So, make sure that you're, uh, you know, you can use it somewhere else, but make sure you're using it somewhere. Or you're letting Daddy Bezos win. Plain and simple. And that Lemrin was so clutch. How do I use Twitch Prime? How? Just like that, Theo. You click on subscribe, you scroll down, and you see if it says subscribe with Prime. If yes, you have a Twitch Prime sub available to be used. Thank you, Morph, as well. It's a small thing to you, but a big deal to me. If everybody uses their prime here, hey! Helps the channel out a lot. We'll leave the archers alone. I guess we'll kill these archers. All our damage reduction also helps a ton. We have, what, 26%? Very nice. Plus 50% chance block. Very, very nice. Chuck Outline with the sub. Thank you so much. How are you doing? I hate when the teleports just darn popping. Let's, uh, let's just get running here, at least. Kill more stuff later. actually really awful. So 
you. And I am in it. Or not to walk? Such a great question. What's with the performer's mustache shade? Are you copying of Artosis? He likes to have one too. It triggers his chat with Mario memes a lot. I just have a nice mustache, that's all. Just have a nice mustache on, nothing more. That was just nasty, good lord. Mana burn. Ooh, 64 to life. Taking it. 79 to life. Ooh, 14 all res or 79 to life is hard. That ends up being over 200 life. I think we gotta go with it. Our res definitely dipped, though. I might need to change my gloves out. Twenty one light res. With fade up, we're at forty four, forty seven, sixty one. No, we found flesh render. Super that situation nice. was nasty. Says you? the guy who was surrounded by lots and lots of hot and strong, fit women. My man getting chased by all the woman. Yes. Exactly. Just nasty. Yeah. Plus, life is super Please. nice with lycanthropy, but we need to find ourselves. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, 39 fire res on the boots. I just need better gloves, really. Maybe we're fine. Maybe we just go forward. Raven Frost Rib Cracker, sure. It's a casual Raven Frost Rib Cracker will do nicely. Not a problem. Oh, I forgot. Fade. Fade ruins uh, all shrines. Is there an AoE option for Shapeshifter? Rabies? But it's not great later. I mean, Fury hits multiple targets, so that's kind of basically it, is you're just running Fury. Shockwave was one, but yeah, then they nerfed and that was the end of that. Whoa, hello. Sheesh. I really need some resistances, I, I do feel like. Just feels like we're a little bit too low. Maybe, I mean, as much as I like having that plus life there, I think we need to let it go. 
But it just hates melee. I mean, it just it used to be better. That's what you have to remember. It just got shifted out. With all all the changes to the game, really just were ones that ended up benefiting uh, range. So. Yeah, most of the updates uh, are anti-melee updates. For sure. Ooh, don't like that. Don't like that, get away. We are rolling in late tonight. Late streaming. We'll be back earlier tomorrow, though. We'll be back on, you know, like 10 or 11 a.m. U.S. Central. Hmm. Greetings from Poland. Hello. Where to download the game? This game? Battle.net. I think it's on sale right now. I do love uh, champion fallen packs. The Midor is a little scary, but. Good day. coming from <laughs> you guys have a nice weekend that's pretty solid overall melee fires explosive arrow I think melee has some damage and hit issues, but otherwise I do like that they haven't made everything AOE for melee and stuff and that they have kept it kind of different. And it is a different playstyle. I, I will always appreciate that. Characters still have really nice identity to them. Yeah, the level difference penalty is brutal. 
I've got 5,000 attack rating. So my attack rating is actually pretty solid. Because I put in, I've got 115 dexterity, so I, I invested some in dex, plus all my bonuses that I have, and I've got a couple things that give some. Oh, you know, maybe I just make a coral ring instead. Let's see how much. Uh, it does drop a 600 attack rating, but now we can get a better light res ring. TBD. Was that a coral ring? No, that's an ochre ring. Only 14 light res. Coral should be, what, 21 to 30? Do you think it's your first uh, solo self found lighter? Uh, I mean, I think I could be close if I put time into it. I've had some very crazy hardcore deaths. Including one where my character wasn't actually dead. I saved quit, I still had 80 life left, and then it's... My character still had the gear on in the gear menu. But it was dead. Wait, was that the Desace one? No, that wasn't Desace. But I've also had other crazy hardcore deaths. Desace was brutal, though. It shouldn't add to your damage, actually. It should just, uh... Show you the aura. It's just a visual glitch. It doesn't actually add. No, we never did finish No Vitality Necker Run. We still gotta give it another chance. Give it another shot sometime. What build do I go with for first 99? I mean, you probably have to go Sorceress because of its solo league. Like, just take too long to get your Enigma. But I could also just go for not solo, you know, like, go for first Assassin or first Barbarian, first Paladin, whatever. I should craft some crushing blow gloves. Melee splash would help, but it also would open up, uh, you know, create less class parity there, right? No, oh, everybody just does splash damage. I like the very big differences that the classes have, personally. Yes. Is Druid a good hardcore character? It's not bad. Ooh, get it out. Someone should just host. Well, there's no servers for hosting. That's kind of the big issue. Yeah, I think it goes well in certain ways on certain skills, but... Yeah, having it be global would be meh. Splash at a low percentage, so killing mobs isn't such a slog. Nah, I think it just is. Some certain skills could potentially have it. 
so you can kind of use those on some more group up mobs. Wow. Really just went for the basic drops there, huh? Dario. Um, it's a nice armor. You know what else is nice? Oh. Giving to children in need of health care. Exclamation mark. Cook children if you would like to donate. We only have a couple days left. Alright, let's see. So we want this. We want Ruby, Nephron, Jewel. Am I going to play any games with Moo? Play lots of games with Moo. Nice! 26 fire res and 20 life. Also 3 mana and 3 life stolen per hit. And 6% chance crushing blow. If only we had 20 IS on these things. Otherwise, pretty dang good. Ooh, 39 life, 24 fire, re 24 light res. I need the light res, so I'm gonna do it. We lose, yeah, just a time. Uh, well, let, let's see. We have to warm up. We lose 60 life doing so. I think it's worth it for the 24 light res, though. We did lose a belt sock, but that's okay. 70, 55, 61. I think this is good. When they cook them... Alright. Donate a dollar. You know the rules. You make a joke about cooking the children. You donate a dollar to the children. Exclamation mark, cook children. Them the rules. Please don't cook the children at Merla Mask. They need to live. Everybody's cooking the... I do want faster run walk though. I, I need to get some faster run walk actually going. Season patch out already? What you need? Uh, nothing is changing. That is the patch. Moon and I actually play a lot of like board games and stuff though together. Good day. We've been playing Race for the Galaxy lately. That's been a fun one. Welcome to the Desert Rain. Cold Res. Uh, maybe we should play a game of Pandemic. Dominion's been a lot of fun. Hello. It would be great to have uh, a search bar in your stash. I'm well, RPG, Will. Good day. What you need? Yeah, it's 30 fast for run walk, but I lose 39 fire res. To the I don't know if I can afford that. I probably need fast run walk with res. That's probably asking too much. Okay, let's just go. We, uh, yeah, we beat It Takes Two. That was a really nice game. Really fun play playthrough. Yeah, probably just imbue some white boots that I find. Is Druid good for ladder reset? It's alright for it. You thought D4 would die when last Epoch comes out? I mean, the thing is, Blizzard is like so big and I think there's enough D4 fanboys that like really want it to somehow still succeed that it's, you know, it's staying afloat. But 
I don't think it's ever gonna be anything bigger than it is, really. You know, it feels like it's gonna kind of live a life similar to Diablo 3. Came out. That was kind of the peak. Everything just kind of went down. But, like, yeah, you know, there's still people that enjoy it. They come back for a season, they play for a week, and then they call it good, and then they move on, you know? But the problem is, they, like, they've dedicated all these resources to the game, right? To the seasons, they've dedicated the resources. Ow, Jesus. To the expansions and all this stuff, and it definitely makes you wonder, like, when do they just let it go? And just put it in maintenance. Just be like, alright, well there's just going to be a new season here and there, but... Not continually doing all these, like... I say big seasons, but they're not really, like, changing a ton in them. But they at least are adding some new zones and stuff. And it feels like, when are they just going to, like, drop all of that? Because it's just not working. Depends how much the $65 mount makes. Yeah, the $65 mount is pretty, uh, impressive. John Doe YouTube with the $1 for the kids. Thank you so much, John Doe. That $1 is gonna really save a life. Just kidding. <laughs> That's, that was a uh, South Park, right? <laughs> <laughs> you made the joke, you paid the fine. <laughs> With Randy Marsh at the <laughs> the grocery store. Oh wow, one whole dollar? <laughs> wow, everybody. <laughs> he donated a dollar. A single dollar. Thank you, John Doe. Hey, man, if everybody donated a dollar in here, we would already have multiple goals met. So, oops. John Doe's already done more than a lot of other people have. Recognize. Every dollar counts, man. <laughs> Every dollar counts. That is true, Kevin. So if you would like to match John Doe Exclamation mark, cook children. Get in there. Hello. There's nothing the right portion can't cure. Let's do a let's do a little burst. Again, it's not about donating the most. It's about community coming together and working together to raise as much as they can for kids by giving what you can. What you can afford, what you can give, you know? MW, thank you for the dollar. Send the dollars to exclamation mark cook children. I can forward that one on for you, but it's, uh, you know. Better, easier, everything. If you guys push it through. Right there. Doesn't even touch me. Goes straight to the charity. Damage seems bad. I mean, it's alright. 
What's uh, what's the upgrade? Barb club upgrade. The problem is it'll definitely be some strength. But also, what would it require to upgrade it? They're multiplying faster than I'm killing them. That does seem accurate, yeah. There's a lot of maggots in here. Jesus. Tyrant Club. What's that? Like 130... 133 strength. Okay. I am going to say 138. Hey, we got it. Yeah, and I need Lem and a pull to upgrade it, so that's just never happening. We shall keep what we have. Welcome to my shop. It's all good. Now we could maybe get one of those at uh what should we call it, but beyond that, probably not. Anonymous decides to 5x John Doe and drop a $5 donation for the kids. Thank you very much, Anonymous. Very sweet of you. Mwah. My M. Freeman is my spirit animal. Decides to 10x anonymous with a $50 donation for Zekids. Wow. It really is. Just, uh. Everybody. Everybody participating, helping out. That's how we make meaningful change. So, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Darn. Keep it going, someone didn't ask me. Right? He did, John Doe, he did. He 50 x you. John Doe <laughs> with the one dollar. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Gonna do the match of John Doe. Snakes, snakes, snakes. I hate snakes. Oh boy. Could be down below. Ah, this will be it. I was hopeful in Act 1, but he fell off hard. Who? This guy? Uh, yes. This guy's doing great. The biggest fall off whatever piece of this guy is uh, I'm not continuing to like level up like I need to, right? I would need to go through and kill a lot of stuff in Act 1 and be, you know, okay, now I'm 67 or 66, and then it's a little better. Additionally, um... I need to upgrade my weapon to actually get more damage going. Those two things would do a lot. And then if I got some, like, max damage charms and, and you know, just a, a little bit more farm to help with that stuff, we'd, we'd really be trucking. But so far, like, 
He's, he's doing all right for being a level 60 druid that's kind of having to work his way through. Breno with the five. My contribution to make Diablo stop cooking children. Well, okay, that's not how it's going exactly, but... Appreciate the five for the kids. We're at 33.94. We are 106 away from another waxing. And you know what? If we hit this one in the next 20 minutes, we'll make it a chest waxing. How about that? If we get to 3,500. Let's, uh, let's just teleport here. We will enjoy that one. Probably a little too much, let's be honest. You must really enjoy getting waxed. I really enjoy raising money for children who need health care and cannot get it. This was not designed by nature's architect. That is what I really enjoy. And if that is what it takes, that is what it takes. Bather, batherize with the six dollars to bring us to thirty-four hundred and put us a hundred doll hairs away. We have eighteen minutes left before we shut down the chest. Physical means the worst? They definitely can be, yeah. I have a daughter and I can't imagine and I pray that I will not have to deal with and she will not have to deal with the stuff that kids going to cook will, will be a uh, need in dealing with, so you know, it's the it's the least we can do. Craftily tough but fun, yeah. There you go, Dark. Anonymous with a five. Good day. Thank you so much. Mwah. Blessings to you. Much appreciated. Very thoughtful, guys. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Just your casual fourth way. Classic. I can't. See how Mr. Duriel goes here. about map maybe okay. 
Black Gay were taking it too personal. Preach. As is tradition. Hurts. Is the nightmare worth it for boss fights? Nah. Good day. Welcome to my shop. I only brought three potions. That's not that much of a win for you. Knockback is so annoying. Okay. Cathins are angelic. It's angelic. Ooh wee. Yep. Greetings. Diablo. Would only need that Ami, which again would be very, very low chances, but would be chances technically. A hundred to life? But it would require 10 more strength. Hmm. Still cool. So then we lose some of that life. It's all good. Druid gets two life per vitality point, so it'd be 20 life that I would drop. So it'd be a, an 80 life belt, essentially, from where we're at. Yeah. But I have a 39 life belt with 24 light res, so I'd gain 41 life to lose 24 light res. The 40 life does get all the boosts. It'd be an, it'd end up being like a hundred something life in total I would gain, but Also gain a tiny bit of damage, just the tiniest bit, yeah. It's all good. Get away from Holy Freeze, boss man. Oh, 
Sheesh. Too many bosses, man. Do not like. Would it be worse to go elemental hell? No, that would be the smart way to go. I've just already done that here, so I gotta do something different. Alright, we do have Great Marsh. We probably have to go through the Great Marsh. Impossible. Though... The five cuts off... Hmm. Five could lead us there. That one has potential. We have ten minutes left. If we raise ninety five more dollars of exclamation mark cook children we will do the next wax strip on the chest if not that's right it'll go back to being a, a leg or an arm wax hi Amelia I know how you doing I think you ransom for that prime from before. How much for a middle of the mustache wax? I, I don't think I want to do the face waxing. That just, uh, uh, ripping hair follicles out of the face doesn't seem like something I'm interested in. I just don't know what the, the long-term damage may be. Leave my eyebrows alone. True binary. Okay. Is this just gonna be it's locked? Annoying here. Hmm. Hey, brought stash back. I thought it was a. I thought it was a skip, actually. I should have maybe checked. It's fine. I can't. I can't. What's my favorite act? I really like Act One, and I really like Act Four. Just like thematically and pace wise. Four is like thematically the best. <sighs> the Chaos Sanctuary is just like insanely cool. Having to like defeat the seal bosses and Diablo spawning in the middle, all that. It's just like really iconic and it's difficult. And, uh, yeah, everything is great. But Act 1, I think the, the pacing is really solid. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. I 
I like how it kind of leads you through it, but then you're going through all these different areas. You're in the catacombs and the jails after you're outside. Yeah, I mean, Act 4 being short is really its, like, biggest issue. It's definitely just, like, a little too short. But... Otherwise, it's really nice. Getting that. Oh, looks like Jade. Perhaps it's worth something. At this point, do you trust Blizzard to make Diablo 2 Act 6? my question. I'd be like, get Act 6 now with a $500 mount. the vicarious vision guys and with the five Maybe. Honestly, I'd be very curious what Diablo 4's player base actually looks like. I don't think it's very good. If I'm gonna be, re if I'm gonna be real with you. Inferno, what's going on? Thanks for the raid, bud. How have you been? <laughs> Three cold damage. Good day. GG, bud. GG. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, like, yes, they're still going to have the mainstream and just have people playing it because it's mainstream, but I, I, I'm not sure it's like more people playing consistently than, than lots Diablo of others. Diablo 4 will probably still have a larger player base than these other RPGs by a large margin, simply because it's mainstream. I mean, it's on Steam right now. How many people does it say are playing Diablo 4 currently on Steam? <laughs> Seven. <laughs> How do you think they're measuring success with D4? At this point, they're measuring success with money they make and probably looking at concurrent people 6500 playing right now that's on steam though which like again many you know are not playing it from steam wait i thought i left a tp down there weird 160,000 players in the last hour wow You know, more than you would expect, but probably less than they're wanting. Like, they were planning this game to be, uh... 
a, a hit for years to come and something that was going to make tons and, you know, probably be the next, like, World of Warcraft big game. Everybody jumps in on it. So, I think they're pretty far off from what the those expectations are there. What's the next Diablo franchise if D4 dies? They'll probably just make D5, right? Yeah, it's the worst arc. They will probably just make Diablo 5. Because again, there's, there's just going to be Diablo fanboys that no matter what, will buy it and play it and it'll sell and you know like even though Diablo 4 has had you know whatever issues now and all this and everything the game still made like a billion dollars on sales you know so I think the idea probably even more so is let's just pump out D5 sooner than later and let's say, hey everybody, D5's coming out and we're fixing everything and get everybody to go buy Diablo 5 and generate those sales again. But first they're gonna, you know, release the expansion and see what happens. See how many people buy that. Thanks. Go for there. Yeah, but like Diablo 5 is not being made for you and me. Sounds like Call of Duty logic. Well, that does seem to be kind of the logic I would say I expect now. Jesus, quit failing. And the new CEO is from Call of Duty, so. Impossible. Jesus. Uh, can I get a telly off? Holy cow. Like I say, just just hang out and wait until Llama RPG, man. Not, the, not to my knowledge, but maybe. Llama RPG is going to save the day. Hello. Or my name's not Mr. Llama. D2. I think you could make something with it work like that, Babo. I think there's always room for creativity. Again, some of the best games, the most fun I've had in games was when I went and saw the creative 
adjustments that they made to the game. If it's not just making the same game that everybody keeps making over and over again, but they're actually trying new things, it really can do a lot to help improve it. But so many companies and game makers and everything are too scared to try something. So we're left with the same same game over and over again. them all showing up man now they start healing each other it's a big mess ah of course that chips yes. yeah their healing is the worst <laughs> No heal, no heal, no heal. Ah! You guys really make it hard to have fun. Don't heal, don't heal, don't heal. cook children about it's a part of children's miracle network it is raising money uh, or using the money raised to help give health care to children in need it is a worthy cause and if you are looking for something to be charitable about with I highly recommend it I got to go like spend some time with some patients. In fact, that painting right there was painted for me by one of the patients of Cook's children. Mm. 
This girl that just loved art, and it was totally unexpected, but while we were just there, after we raised some money, and we were just like hanging out and meeting them and stuff, she came up and was like, I painted this for you. I really wanted to, to say thank you. So. Is it bolted? I mean, it's not. It's, uh... it's pretty dope. I mean, she was like eight years old or something. I was impressed. To say the least. Yeah, super, super sweet kid. Better than I would do. Oh, a thousand percent. I was like majorly impressed. I was like, wait, what? You paying this? She was like, yeah. And they said she just like came in and uh, told them. She was like, I want to paint something for Mr. Llama. Super cute. So, yeah, stuff like that's just like, I mean, again, just, just awesome, right? And it really helps you sit there and get to see exactly, you know, who and what you're raising money for, people you're donating for, all that. So, exclamation mark. Cook children if you would like to uh, donate. Who painted the cow? Moo Girl painted the cow, actually. Should have known. Ah, oh, that's not the exit. Can I donate through YouTube or just Twitch? It is not through YouTube or Twitch. It's through um, an event that, which basically is run by like Children Miracle Network. So if you go to exclamation mark cook children, there is a link there. That'll take you to the event, so that way it goes, that's through, it'll go like right to the nonprofit from that. It doesn't touch me and then I have to donate it again. Um, anything of that nature. And it's, uh, yeah. Oops. And you get the like, it's tax deductible, right? Because it's to a nonprofit, so you'll they'll send an email right to your or yeah, right to your email with a receipt and basically, you know, hey, you can use this on your taxes when it comes around. Do I miss playing StarCraft 2? Every now and then, I actually miss playing Brood War more than StarCraft 2. Brood War was ah so much. Every now and then I wake up, I'm like, I want to just go play some fastest, some fastest map possible. Yeah, bot works in the YouTube chat now. You remember I ran SCS, the SC2 clan. Wow, Spurs. Going way back there. Get it, John. <laughs> Not at all in the dorm. It's just so fun. Do I think Microsoft will revive StarCraft? 
I don't know. Yes. I do not know what their plans are. Like, Microsoft buying, did they actually care? <laughs> That's right. Zombie grab Neve. Oh, jeez, man. Seabass with the $10 donation for Z-Kids. Thank you, Seabass. Or did they really just buy it so they could get, like, Candy Crush, right? That's the that's the real question here. Like King and the mobile games are the most profitable parts. Okay. So unless they're bringing, you know, going to bring StarCraft back in the way of just turning it into a mobile game that people will dump a bunch of money into and using IP. Thanks, Snapdragon. Oh, everybody was so excited for StarCraft Ghost back in the day, man. That was like the saddest cancellation. They just canceled it. The game was even like functional. That's the thing. They had like playable, you know, cause it was like playable at a, a con one time and stuff. And they had like an okay amount and, and then they just uh, dropped it. For whatever reason. That would be amazing, Seabass. Please, for real. I know the playable vertical slides they show you is nowhere near a finished game, but I'm saying they had it running and you could go and play a quest and do other, whatever stuff. Like, they had more than just an idea and more than just some base stuff. The game was. At least, uh, you know. Where'd the stash come from? Sh shaved it. Starcraft is way too fast for today's player base. I mean, Stormgate's, you know, making a, a push to try and be a Starcraft. Bring RTS into the future and all of that. But I do agree that's even aiming at more of the old school people who loved Starcraft in a way. And how much will it actually hit the new generations well, I don't know. Because I do kind of agree with what you're saying. RTS and StarCraft and all of that, it's kind of too hard in in a way for the, the general population of, of video gamers nowadays. And that's even true for a lot of like ARPGs, MMOs, all that stuff. When you really go back, games were really, like, much grindier, much more difficult, much all of that before. And now they've definitely eased up. And they try and, you know, give the players more stuff. Now, is this wrong? Is this bad? No, this is just a matter of fact for how it is but yeah this is this is gonna be uh, horrible actually
With an RTS, it's too obvious that you suck at it. I mean, this is literally exactly the problem. With an RTS, it is too obvious that you are the problem. And I think that is the biggest thing and issue and everything that... Oh, oops. Wrong button. That we come across... What am I doing? People hate being bad at stuff now, for sure. And RTS is just like the most obvious... No, you're the problem. <laughs> you don't have teammates you can sit there and blame it on and be like, Ah, oh, well my teammates suck, I'm actually really good and all of that. Like, yes, League of Legends and Dota and stuff are, are you know, skill-based games and all this, but they allow you that ability to blame it on somebody else. And that is the, the biggest piece. That Holy Freeze is bad. My. Inspection and skill development is hard. And that's why I think RTSs really fell off. They got replaced by League of Legends and Dota 2 and whatever, where you can blame your teammates more. You don't have to be as accountable. And I think that became just more preferred. But you know, go back to EverQuest, go back to Diablo 1, go back to classic World of Warcraft first retail. Every every game has gotten easier. I want to go back to all of those. I mean, I agree. They're more fun, really, but they're a little bit harder and a little bit grindier. Classic World of Warcraft versus Retail World of Warcraft, that's what I'm talking about. Retail is current version. No one has time to grind that much? Maybe that's also it. Nobody has time anymore to, to grind all that. There was less things we needed to do back in the day. with three jobs. I'm dad, streamer, slash content creator, and game designer. You know? Also, less social media to waste your time on. True.
dad a job? For sure is. Committed parent is a job. Walking is part of the gameplay in Diablo 1. It's true. The fear that comes along with knowing that you're, you move so fast only. Definitely part of the game. Yeah, it's really just, I mean, I agree. The The biggest issue is the slowness of walking back to town and all of that. And the back and forth can be a little bit tedious. See what we can do here. The large groupings make it quite tough, but in a, you know, smaller groups of monsters, we actually clean up pretty well and can, can fight pretty well. Just, just difficult when we get to bigger packs. Yeah, that was a fun little uh, league idea there at Infinitum. here and do that. Let's see what happens. Okay. Broke off a couple. That's good. When you work out, do you strength train? I mean, I used to work out a ton. I was, you know, I did college sports and all that stuff. Um, so there's plenty of working out that I did then and lots of weight training and everything. I don't really weight train now. Now I go play hockey. Um, that's what I've been doing lately. Playing goalie for a hockey team. Or I go play, you know, I'd go play soccer. I'd go rock climb. So generally I'd be doing non like weight training stuff. 15 years ago. I mean, 12 years ago. And then I weight trained out of college as well. I did some like German volume training for a couple years and stuff kind of messed around with some things, but I haven't really lifted in probably like seven years or something.
Am I going for any f class first next season? I don't think so. I do enjoy going for class first, but I'll probably have to wait till my daughter's a little bit older. Remember, Lummy, you can't flex cardio. I know. Not wrong. Oh no, immune to physical? Alright, it's okay. I mean, it's horrible. But it's okay, we can make this work. Marathon Monday tomorrow. Ah, oh, that's right. I'll put that to good use. Great aim. I'll put that to good use. Followed by uh nope. No 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 no. Focus here. Andy's stone skin, what a punk. Oh, I guess that makes him physical immune. Duh. Alright. No, there's no decrep wand. I have a lower resist wand. I don't think I have really any fire damage. Infector as regen? No! If he's teleport, he would have regen. Um, or if a uh, obsidian, or oblivion knight, whatever, hits him with the infinite regen skill. But neither of those exist, so. Did I trash the spirit shroud? No, I think I still have it. For mercenary. Kuko has fire damage. I know, but whatever. She shoots a cold arrow and it's fine. We're not. I don't think we can break uh, the immunity anyway, so. Doing just enough. I don't know, New Lord. Maybe at some point I'll try something. But. Alright. See what we have over here. Yikes. Dislike.
has a solid uppercut. Ah, it's not as deep as I wanted to get. Okay, that gives us some solution. Now we need one more thing, and that is... Okay, all right, we should be good. Just need this guy to get ahead of the pack. Or the pack to, yeah, just get the pack out of the way. Love donuts. No monsters. <laughs> Favorite donut flavor? Golly, so many. I love a custard filled. I love a good, uh, nice. Just like chocolate twist donut. Give me a chocolate with sprinkles. What's a twist donut? It's a donut that's long and twisted. that he kind of like came up to us. The bad news is I don't really want to fight in here so I'm gonna get out of there. got enough problems. Why they gotta ruin it for him? Thank you. 
Nice, they're doing pretty well. We actually have some nice gear. We got some good crafted gloves, flesh render, bulwark, 79 life, treachery, rhyme, res, attack rating, and dual res. Really pretty, pretty nice. The Husoldal Evo. Exactly. Nice damage on it, you know. Being uh, not a terrible weapon. Yeah, we've had some nice uh, rune drops and stuff. We've also farmed, you know, some of it as well, but... Hail to you, champion. Save for Act 2 Mercenary? Good for Mef? What? We're in Act 5. I'm talking about for Mef. See if we can teleport. Jesus. Every other teleport's a failure. God, I hate this game. Oh, if they will fix the teleport bug, it would it would just make me so happy. Teleport charges bug. It's so so bad. Bender said somewhere on the screen there's certain like pixels that really get messy and are messed up with it. Like there we had zero failed teleports, but I was holding like a single spot, you know. But see, sometimes you hold a different single spot, and that one does fail, so it's really hard to ever know. Kind of okay with them turning them all into exploding guys. Cause I just want to clear them out. Yeah, how it is broken would be really interesting to find out. Blow them up, blow them up. What is he doing? Why is he running so much? Shank. <laughs> I've never seen him run away so much. Dude was zooming. Get me out of here! He's kind of waddling around.
Is Ellie or Shapeshift more fun to play? I mean, once you have, like, gear and stuff, I think Shapeshift can be, but Elemental's also just very fun, you know. It really just depends your preferred playstyle. But there's plenty of very fun builds to play in this game that are not optimal builds for S-tier farming, you know. thousand left, but we've got some gold in our stash. No fast run walk does kind of suck, but it's really hard to give up 39 fire resist on the boots right now. And, uh, yeah. And I'm not patient enough with this to go farm some boots that are like Hisaurus boots, basically, or whatever. Tornadoes can be a big pain to aim, for sure. Hey, Augustine, how you doing? Jesus. Snakes, death lords, get out of here. This is, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. I didn't get a hit, I need a hit, okay. Get me out of here. Love from the UK, grab a drink and snack on me. Well, do thank you so much. Very kind. Just because the two-handed damage probably you can get with the speed from weapons is just too good on Druid would be my assumption. Yeah, we got a waypoint. We're happy. Oh, no, no, no. Saw that happening as soon as we saw that and our TP failed.
Jesus! Extra fast. Thanks, Hawk. Have a good one. Ancients will go with this character. At last, the summit of Mount Orient. Hello. to do. Make some money. What do you need? Okay. Thanks, Bert. Nope, don't want that. Don't want that. No stone skin. Mana burn, stone skin. I don't think I want mana burn either, to be honest. Stone skin. stuff I don't want. Stone skin, stone skin. Curse. Curse might not actually be into the world. Depends who has it. Stone skin. Quit having stone skin. Jesus. Okay, it's not my favorite, but we might be able to make it work. Oh, my God. 
dual damage is a little too much. Lightning enchanted, cold enchant, fire enchant. Is he extra strong? No. Let's go here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a tough, tough grouping. And again, our t failed teleport kills us. Skinny jeans with 25! Bring us to 3440. Thank you very much, Skinny Jeans. It should be pretty easy. I just have to get the right rolls. I'm not even sure I'll need that many potions. But what I might do. Jesus. Oh. So horrible, this failed teleport stuff. And then just right into awful mods. Everywhere we tellied there was a was a death pack. Yeah, that one was just Awful luck. Tainted death pack followed by tainted death pack. Whoa! Where'd you come from? Thanks, Daddy Bezos. Thank you, Daddy. No! I ran out of teleports! Woo! Close one. Our cast rate is not great. Okay. Let's see if that's enough. Good afternoon. Playing it off time. Uh, hmm. Um. What am I playing in my off time? Okay, that's good enough. Yo, I'm doing an SSF Conan trade barb, and it's just awful, Jesus. but also super fun. Can't go anywhere right now. This Corlick block is horrible. I need him. It's gonna not work. Oh, it worked! Wow, that was close. Thank you, Rag. I mean, I'm playing some stuff with Mugra a little bit like Magic the Gathering Arena. We're playing a little bit of uh, Race for the Galaxy and some various board games. I'm not really like playing a lot of other video games because I'm working on Lama RPG. That's kind of the main other stuff I'm doing. And that's not always, always like crazy exciting. Stream the MTG? Nah, I'm just playing like some starter deck games with Mooker and stuff, teaching her.
<laughs> it's a solid one to go with, for sure. Well, thankfully, Llama TCG is coming out later on. You never notice the flaming sword? Oh yeah, it's so cool. Thank you. Is the game I am developing. One more cool. month, nice and easy. G -G -G. Zucada, 99 months. We're one away. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Okay, just get me this waypoint, man. Just get me this waypoint. Do not love that. Do not love fanaticism. I. Get away from me. Stop it. Woo, we got it. We got it, boys and girls. Dolls, no souls, and no ghoul lords. Dolls, death lords, and snakes.
Let's see, let's see. Impossible. No. Uh, this is gonna be hard. Albeit impossible. Yeah, no teleporting shape shifting is just uh horrible. Salutations. Just literally is so murderous. Okay. No souls. Lovely. Boss pack of souls. No souls. Thank you. Fanaticism Death Lords Jesus. Woo. Okay, and here we go. I Fade already. Thank you. I actually need to kill the dolls up here. So Bao will get rid of their bodies. Clean up in the back. Okay. Reset Rainbow Run without breaks. I mean, without breaks. I'm so slow. Too slow.
I use it for wave skipping. I think I'm gonna go buy some fast run walk boots. I don't think I've skipped any waves yet. I'm too slow to do it. Greetings. Good day. Good afternoon. That was a skip. Baby. Come on. It's wave skipping. Flash render. Salutations. There it is, egg. Did 
just how it goes out here. My brothers will not ever die in vain. Four nine percent chance hit fails pretty good. Level sixty two. Barb 2.0. I'm not sure we need it, but. Going to the park the next days? Oh yeah. Yeah, man, we got some great drops for this run. Made it super nice. What you got for us, Pale? Garbaggio. GG though. So here's our rainbow druid finish. 48% chance block by the end. Pretty nice. Also gave us some dexterity by running more block there, which I think was really helpful. Um, just max, max, max. Rest there. I mean, it's really honestly pretty powerful. Not, you know, not doing anything else. Like, shapeshifting really... Really was doing quite well. If I wanted to kill more stuff along the way, I definitely could have, you know. Um, Gear-wise, we, we got lucky. We got really lucky. We got Flesh Render. That's a huge drop. It gives us Crushing Blow, Deadly Strike, Open Wound, Prevent Monster Heal, Added Damage, ED, and then all the skills. Um, it's just really nice. We didn't really have much of a weapon otherwise. We'd have to, you know, try and craft something up with some Rune Words, whatever. We made a bulwark. This is nice, not not a huge deal, but it is it is decent. Uh, you know, I could have just run like a Ral or or Helm or whatever, and that would have been fine. Big life amulet we dropped, rhyme shield, um, treachery again, another massive drop for us. Getting the forty five IES and the venom and fade procs is really big. Bulwark's a new rune word. Crafted some nice gloves, dual leech, which was helpful for the mana. Um, big fire res on it. And then some decent life. And 6% crush your blow. Found this ring in normal nightmare? Pretty godly. 52 resist, 56 attack rating, and 2 to min damage. This is really uh, solid. Picked this belt up. We also had a 100 life belt. We also had like an 87 life spiderweb sash. You know, but I needed the light res. 
And because my res and everything with Fade were so good, it allowed me to run this 82 AR ring, which as you can see is over 600 attack rating after all the boost. And then we just had some fire resist for some booties. Um, pretty basic, but I just wanted to get my res up. Charms were life, 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 cold damage, and life. Not really a lot in the way of charms. And then Telly Staff. Pretty solid overall, though. We had our spirit. We uh, found a spirit shot as well. If we wanted, cannot be frozen there until we got the treachery. I mean, that was nice. Saigon's gloves. We also had Saigon's armor, so we could have run the two piece 30 IAS. Ancient's Pledge, Spirit Sword, there's 100 life, Low Resist if we wanted, whatever. Just some more other things that we could kind of use along the way. Decent gear! Uh, for a fun run. And that takes us to the end of today! So, GG, everybody.